Okay, let's do a division problem. Okay, just like with the multiply problem, I'll show you the shortcut first, thinking that most of you will, will probably want to stick with that, and then I'll show you the long way. Okay, the, the shortcut for dividing numbers in scientific notation. Okay, let's take this example. 6.3 times 10 to the 9th divided by 2.1 times 10 to the 2nd. The shortcut is to just know that you could break this apart into 6.3 divided by 2.1 times 10 to the 9th divided by 10 to the 2nd. Okay, that is a legal mathematical thing to do. Okay, I could just uh, rewrite this. 6.3 over 2.1 times 10 to the 9th over 10 to the 2nd. Basically, I'm just thinking of that as a multiply symbol right there. Okay, and then I can just divide both parts of this problem. 6.3 divided by 2.1 Okay, make that a whole number, make that a whole number by moving the decimal points over one to the right. It looks like 21 goes into 63 exactly three times. Okay, so 6.3 divided by 2.1 is 3. And then I have 10 to the 9th divided by 10 to the 2nd. Well, when you multiply powers with the same base, you add. But when you divide powers with the same base, you subtract. Okay, so we keep the 10. We take 9 minus 2, which is 7. And I'm done. I'm done because that number, that first number, is between 1 and 10. We have a number between 1, 1 and 10 times a power of 10. Okay, so the shortcut, divide the decimals and then subtract the exponents on your tens. Okay, divide the decimals and subtract the decimal. I'm sorry, subtract the exponents on your tens. Okay, the long way to do it. I, I don't recommend you do it this way, but I know that some people feel more comfortable doing it with, without the shortcut. 6.3 times 10 to the ninth. Start with 6.3. Move the decimal 9 over to the right. So we, we will end up with eight zeros. Okay, divide that by 2.1 times 10 to the second. Move the decimal two to the right. You get 210. Okay, just divide these as normal. 210 goes into 630 three times. Okay, exactly three times. So we need to put zeros down. Okay, so there's our answer in uh, standard form. Scientific notation, put the decimal point after the 3 times 10. Think about how many times you have to move over to get to the end. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 7 to the right. So 7 is the exponent, positive 7. Okay, either way, 3 times 10 to the 7. Okay, but again, the shortcut. The shortcut. Take the two decimals and divide them. Top divided by the bottom. And then take your exponents on your 10 and subtract them. 